It's been pretty hard to find caterpillars this winter, but uh, with this little snow, all of a sudden there's hundreds, if not thousands of them right out here. I wanted to share this experience with you, so we'll take a little tour of the field and uh, see what we can find together. Immediately, we're starting to find caterpillars here. This one is Noctua pernuba, the large yellow underwing. We've got really tiny caterpillars as well. So early in stars, they don't appear to be Noctua pernuba. So this is some other kind of cutworm. Species I haven't identified yet. Much greener, simpler patterning, a little dark spot. And I'm collecting some of these to raise them up and, and see what we're gonna end up with. And the only thing I had on hand were uh, some Dunkin' Donuts bags. So here's my uh, initial collection. I know, a strange tool of the trade here. We're gonna bring this back. Uh, we'll feed them grasses, we'll raise them up and photograph them, figure out exactly what they are. Um, try to actually uh, sort of define this experience of uh, an early spring snow, the caterpillars that come up above it, see what kind of diversity there is, uh, maybe note what kind of parasitoids come out of these caterpillars. Um, but uh, if it snowed where you are, uh, go out to a grassy meadow or a short grass field and see if there's caterpillars all over the top of the snow. This is wild. No, there, there were crane fly larvae, there were beetle larvae, there were spiders hunting them. Um, Jeez. This is definitely not um, Noctua pernuba. No, that's a zestia. Yeah. I can't believe we got like three inches of snow and then you just went out and found all these caterpillars. They all were forced up from the grass. We are you going? sorting all of our new Noctuids by species as best we can. So this is Noctua pernuba. This is zestia species. Uh, that's the only ones I'm working on right now, but there are lots of different Noctuids in here. These are, by the way, featherweight. Um, Tweezers, so these are very gentle on caterpillars, more gentle than my fingers could be for sure. So we've separated these all out into um, what we think are species groups, although I'm sure there's more than we've got uh, containers for, and we're starting to try and identify them, uh, put them in groups to be photographed. Uh, this container here is mostly snowy darts, um, which we don't have any photographs of, so excited about that and uh, we're gonna have to get them some food before they start turning on each other. So someone's gonna be digging in the snow today, getting grass, I think. This whole adventure started when a veteran Caterpillar Lab educator gave us a call and alerted us to all the caterpillars on top of the snow. I spent the rest of the day photographing the caterpillars that we had just sorted. Um, it looks like we have at least half a dozen, if not a dozen species in there. One thing that getting them in front of the macro lens does is just reveals how beautiful and individual each one is. With our eyes, sometimes these caterpillars just look dingy brown or green. But in fact, they're decorated with the most intricate patterns and colors, all geared towards camouflage in a grassy early spring environment.